and that's a very dangerous thing, Akhwan, and that shows you the the seriousness of taking and 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 transgressing against people's properties and people's uh, things. Some of us are very negligent. You'll be walking around, you know, in, in the street. You see some nice flowers or some garden that belongs to someone's house and you help yourself to something and you pick out a few flowers or roses and you keep moving. Um, hello? Like, you can't do that. You cannot do that. You know, some people really transgress. Another common example and, and sad as well is the people's free usage of slippers in the masajid. Yeah, Akhi, this is one of the most, the most mind-blowing things in the history of the world. I think they should teach it in, in history, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4. Historically, how in the world, how in the world do you go to a masjid and then you see someone else's slippers, some other person's slippers. I'm not talking about the, the, uh, the one that belonged to the masjid. Okay, there are some, some masjid that are kind enough to put those, which I will still never use. Because Allah alam, what kind of foot was in it a minute earlier? Ew. I mean, come on, you should have some hygiene as a believer. Now, we Muslims are clean people. You don't just put your foot in any given shoe. But that's besides the point. People, they're not, not talking about the slippers that are like the public slippers. No, no, they actually take out someone else's slippers with their nasty feet and they put them on and they go to the bathroom. And they make, make wudu, and then, you know, the person was wearing these crocs, for example, they were dry. He comes out of the salah, his shoes have been used. And they're wet, and they're stinky. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Wallah, I don't believe it. How can you be so oppressive? Hey, what is wrong with you? Either you go prepared, or you cannot go and use people's property like it's your father's. Look, Ya Sheikh, if it was your father's, you're not allowed to use it. If it's your father's shoes, you cannot use it without his permission. And so when, when non-Muslims or reverts, when they first enter into Islam, those experiences will, will, will scar them for life. Those experiences will scar them for life. They will never get over it. Especially if they come from a background where they're, you know, they're clean, they're, you know, they're a decent family, they're well, well groomed, well, well dressed. Uh, they're, you know, they're a family that these, like um, a, a good Muslim family, but they're not Muslims. They behave like Muslims, and then uh, us Muslims, you come into the house of a Muslim and you see it, you know, it's nasty and it's, it's sm smelly, and people have, you know, long armpit hair that they don't shave. They, they, they smell. From, from a distance, um, you just, you know, hair disheveled, everything is all over the place. Why? Why? Why do we allow the teachings of Islam to be applied by non-Muslims and us Muslims completely dismiss them and, and we don't even put them into practice? So, I mean, I know I've, I'm, I want an tangent here, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Y'all gotta stop doing this. Akhi, you cannot, you, the area, the shoes area in the masjid should not be smelly. It should not smell. You should not be using other people's shoes. You should not be, if, if it, anything, use your own. Ruin your own shoes before you use someone else's without their permission. Aib. Wallah, aib. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Like, comment, and share with friends and family.